<laughs> no, you're not red shirting. Well, how tough was that decision? Um, you know, once once everything kind of, you know, worked itself out, it wasn't it wasn't very tough. Um, just kind of had to you know think about all the pros and cons and talk to Coach Heller. I wanted to make sure things were squared off with him. Um, you know, make sure he was on the same page as my dad, and uh, just go from there. And then once once we kind of laid everything out, it just made more sense. I mean, your dad needs you, isn't that kind of the bottom line? I mean, yeah, I mean, it helps. Um, Jordan and I have both been playing the guard spots, so, you know, point guard, um, that's been pretty much me as the, that other guy most of the time. So. Yeah. What will go into the decision whether or not you redshirt in baseball? Um, I think we're just going to see how everything works out. Um, it'll just, you know, depending on how late I get in with them probably, uh, how, so how long we play into postseason tournament. Um, and then just, you know, how things are going, you know, injuries always could be a problem, hopefully not, but um, those are always things that could come up. And then just, you know, if I start playing well, I mean, you never know, maybe they, you know, find a spot for me in some games or, you know, we'll see. Never want to make a decision too early. Sure. So. How have you adjusted to this? Because, I mean, you were mentally baseball and yeah. I've had to flip the switch. Yeah. Um, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't as much that I was so focused on baseball. Um, I'm just kind of a, I'm kind of a plan guy. You know, I'm a comfort zone guy. You know, that was kind of what we had picked out. So I was focused on that. It wasn't that I was so locked in on it that I wasn't, you know, thinking at all about basketball. Um, you know, I still was coming to practice every day. You know, I was playing hard and trying to do whatever I could to help the team. It just I wasn't going to play because that wasn't the plan. But um, you know, obviously things can be adjusted and changed. That's what that's what ended up happening. How long did it take you to get adjusted to this new comfort zone with the plane doing that? Not not long. It was just um, once I really talked to both coaches and kind of you know just looked from an outside perspective at kind of everything that happened, it all just kind of worked itself out, and it just made more sense with how things were going here and how things were going with baseball and you know the needs of each team. It just it just ended up kind of playing the scores. Oh yeah, definitely. We know that, especially the last game we played in this game, that we were playing a lot smaller teams, and obviously we have a height advantage, so we want to work the ball and down low. And um, I know moving forward that um, it'll, it'll help out in the long run, just because we work the ball inside, start kicking out, and um, so we're just kind of working through things right now. And. We knew we had a dominant force down though, so we just kept working inside. Tyler and Luca look pretty comfortable playing together already. How uh, lethal can that be if the, with those two going inside out every time down the floor? It's very lethal. lethal. Um, they they play a lot. They play really well together, knowing that I mean, it's only second game out there. So um, they got a lot. Of, they got a good feel with each other, and um, we're not really having too much of an issue of them both posting up. So that's obviously a plus. And, um, when, when Tyler is able to be dominant like that, it opens Luca's game up and he can hit the mid-range, so they just play really well together. How much of an impact do you feel? Yeah, it um, felt good. Um, you know, I was able to get some like, easy looks in transition. Um, the guys got me involved. And, um, you know, I was tonight, so um, hopefully I can do some more of that in the future when it counts. Where's that first half dunk rank for you? That's up there. I didn't know I was going to dunk it, so I got in the air, really. I thought I was going to lay it up. I was like, I'm already here. If it moves with some slow motion, really, so it's kind of fun. Speaking of that, is have things kind of slowed down for you? Are you? It seems like you're getting the ball and kind of looking and reading the defense and yeah, taking your time yeah. a little bit more. Because, um, you know, teams are going to play us you know, in different ways. So when I catch, you know, my first look is to see if the guy guarding the, the post field is going to double me. If not, then, you know, I get into my move pretty easily. Or I'll look behind me, see if they send a double somewhere else, see if I got a shooter open by the other winger in the corner. So I'm um, just kind of a, like a quarterback regression, you know, when I get the ball down there. And then um, a lot of times they love me one on one and post tonight, so I was able to get a bucket. How much different is that this year compared to last year? What you're just talking about? Um, it's a lot different, you know. Um, obviously, the high school and college are, you know, two very different games. So, you know, what I was used to, I was just used to, you know, getting in and going. And, um, you know, going fast, and so that obviously I learned last year you can't always do that. You know, there's times for that, and there's times you gotta slow down a little bit. So, um, just part of the maturation process, part of it. Um, I guess get better over the offseason. You look and look like you really play well together. Has that yeah. been that way from the beginning, or has it kind of come slowly? Uh, really, we just gelled, you know, as soon as he got here. Um, he's a super smart player, and, you know, knows, you know, what he can do. Um, he's really efficient, you know, and, 
in everything he does. So um, with playing with him, you know, it's easy because, okay, I know if he's down there, I can play score and get it to him because he's going to score for us. He's going to get a rebound. And he was the same thing for me. And we're both capable of shooting on the outside. So um, it just kind of works, works well together. Did you feel a little more relaxed tonight with the first game under your belt? Yeah, for sure. I think that first, yeah, coming into this and kind of knowing the routine and different stuff like that, kind of the first time, kind of everything came at me at the same time. So it was a little bit more relaxed and I was a little bit more comfortable. So from the jump, I felt good and I was just ready to go out there and play hard. So it was a great, uh, great game. I think it's great. Uh, like I said, you know, that first game, you know, coming out there in the first half, like I said, I was nervous. And so, you know, adjusting to the college game, adjusting to the pace, adjusting to, like, you know, just the arena and the different, like, lights. Never played in a kind of an environment like this. So it's big for us, and especially, you know, all the freshmen just getting used to this and how, and how it is, you know, to play, you know, on this kind of stage. So uh, it's a big thing for us, and I think we're working out some of the, you know, uh, our little like, problems, especially on defense, uh, like in the first half. So I think it's good for us to get these two games out of the way. So once we start, you know, we don't take anybody for granted. We're going out, people getting them out here early. There seems to be a pretty good chemistry with you and Tyler in there playing mm -hmm. side by side. Is that, do you feel that way too? Yeah, that's for sure. Of... And, you know, since I got here, you know, just playing alongside him has been great. He's very unselfish when he gets it down low. You know, he he's dominant, so you know he's attracting double teams, triple teams. So he knows when to pass it, and he's just a smart player. So uh, you know, it, it's great to have a, you know a teammate like that. And, uh, I'm just I've, it, I've, it's been a pleasure playing with him. I, you know, I'm excited for the future. You seem to bring that energy off the bench to the present. Did you kind of see what was going on before you got out there, and does that help? Yeah, I mean, you know, we had a good start to the game. Um, obviously, we went on that 11-0 run, and then we tried to just continue what that first group did. Um, you know, Belmont Abbey, they did a great job of, you know, being able to knock down shots, so that's something that we have to address. But, um, you know, I was just really enjoying my role coming off the bench and, you know, providing that energy and, you know, trying to knock down timely threes. Coach said he's still kind of struggling with what to do with you. Start yeah. or come off the bench, is it? I know you said before it doesn't matter. Does it not matter? I mean, it doesn't matter to me. I think it's just whatever's best for the team. So, obviously, um, you know, we have a lot of capable guys who can start. So, um, you know, I'll just I'll go wherever they put me and wherever is you know, most efficient for the team. How are you guys able to keep the chemistry and continuity with so many different guys moving in and out of the lineup? I think it's indi indicative of our practice schedule, you know. We always, you know, try to mix up lineups, you know, mix up who we're playing with. So, when we do get out on the floor, um, we can be with any number of guys. But we, since we play so much with different lineups and practice, it really prepares us for who we play in the game. What have you seen? What are the differences in Tyler this year, do you think? I think he's just a lot more calm. Um, you know, he's a guy who's playing a lot more under control. I think he's seeing the game a little bit more, too. Um, he's just really at his own pace. Um, I mean, he's got the ability, obviously, to go coast to coast and dunk it on three guys or you know, really take his time in the post and find open shooters. So I think that's been the biggest development of his game. Excellent.